art friends. Today we are going to draw a great white shark. Yeah, we hope you're going to follow along. It's going to be a lot of fun. I love sharks so much. And actually we're drawing or redrawing the shark lesson we did a long time ago with Jack. So it's going to be really cool. If you've seen that lesson, it's going to be fun to redraw it again because we're going to also color it. You need your drawing supplies? Yeah, we're going to use markers, but you can use whatever you have at home, like a pencil. You also need some paper and... Something to color with. You ready to start? Yes. We have our paper turned horizontal so that we can really draw our shark big. And we're going to start over here on the left by drawing our shark's mouth. And we're going to draw a big letter C, a backwards letter C. We're going to draw it right about here. I'm going to draw it about this big. And we're going to come down like this. Yeah. And then we're going to draw the other side of the mouth and we're going to make it 3D. So we're going to draw really open and big. I'm going to come up like this and then kind of curve in at the top and the bottom. <laughs> I love this lesson. It's so much fun. Now we're going to add the teeth and we're going to draw zigzag lines, really sharp zigzag lines. We're going to draw the top teeth on the back row or the back of the mouth like this coming down. And we can also draw them down here too, coming all the way up. There you go. The sharper, the better. <laughs> Keep going. You did it. Now let's draw even more sharp teeth. I'm going to draw more zigzags coming down the mouth on this side, all the way down and also down here at the bottom. You could even add even more teeth because they have lots of teeth. Now let's draw the nose. We're going to start here at the top and we're going to draw a curve that comes up. And then we're going to draw the top of the head. We're going to curve down. And we're going to stop here where the fin is. Oh, I love your shark. Okay. And then you could even come down a little further, maybe right to here. And then we're going to draw the back fin. This is the part that scares everyone <laughs> when it sticks out of the water. It looks like a wave in the ocean. So curve up and then back down. Yeah. And then let's draw. We're going to draw this line and we're going to imagine it going through. So we're going to start here and keep going to draw the rest of the tail curving around and up. Now let's draw the bottom of our shark. We're going to start here, the bottom of the mouth, and we're going to curve this way underneath and we'll stop there. And then let's draw the side fins. We're going to draw, it looks like the top fin. We're going to draw an upside down wave. Yeah. Now we're going to draw the rest of the body coming around, but we want to imagine this belly line going behind the fin and we're going to come out the other side here. We're going to curve around. Oh, I'm going to, maybe it'll make it a little easier. I'm going to come here and then come back to it like this and then connect into the rest of the belly. So we're drawing that tail and we get closer and closer almost to a point, but leave a little space here. Yeah. And then keep going. Now let's add the other fin on the other side of our shark. We're going to draw the same shape. That makes it look more 3D. This one is behind the body and also the other fin. We can also add a smaller fin right here on the tail. And we can add two more really small ones back here. Now let's finish the tail. We're going to draw a curve coming out to the left and also a curve coming out to the right. On the left side, let's draw this line a little longer or taller. Then we're going to draw a diagonal line that kind of comes in like this. And then a short line that comes down. And then we're going to draw a kind of looks like a letter V. We're going to draw a line like this and then back up to the other side. Do sharks have big eyes or little eyes? They have little beady eyes. Yeah, compared to the body, right? We're going to draw a little circle right here. 
wrong for the eye. And we can also color it in, but leave a little white spot for a highlight to make the eye look shiny. What's our shark missing? Gills. Gills. Let's start right here. We can draw a curve. Let's draw four more slits for a total of five. We're going to draw them a little smaller each one. So there's one, two, three. So we have a total of four and then five. Taryn, we did it. We finished drawing our shark. Well, we're not completely done. Still got to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same coloring. You ready to fast forward? Yes. Taryn, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our sharks. Give me five. We had a lot of fun, didn't we? Yes, we did. I hope our art friends will pause the video and take time to color their drawings also. You can match our coloring or color it any way you want. We use our biannual markers, alcohol-based markers. If you have the same set, we use CG05 for the main body of the shark. And then the red color that we use for the mouth is? R218. Yeah. We also use CG01 for a little shading underneath the shark. And a white colored pencil for the highlight. Yeah, the highlight up here, we use our Prismacolor colored pencils and that goes on top of the marker, which is really cool. You can add that highlight after you've colored it in. What else could our art friends add to their drawing? A background. Oh, a background would be really cool. You could also even draw something that the shark is going to eat. Maybe a puffer fish. <laughs> <laughs> we hope you had a lot of fun drawing a great white shark with us. Yeah, and remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings look different, but they both turn out awesome. The most important thing is... To have fun. And to... Practice. Practice. Remember to practice. And we'll see you later, art friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.